Hello everyone. So this uh, project heavily utilizes the replicate window or replicate menus, the alignment windows or windows or menus, and the knife tool. So I already have a box drawn on my cutting mat that's 10 by 10. That's the size of the frame I'm using and I already have my butterfly sized based off the measurements. Um, this is my best guess so it actually might be wrong but I'm pretty sure I need my butterfly to be two and a quarter inches wide for proper spacing to fit in this frame. Now for the knife tool, I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. When I select the knife tool on the left hand side of the screen, you see a menu pop up on the right hand side of the screen. Now I'm using the designer edition of the software so I have more options than the regular edition but you can do this in the regular edition of the software. So my knife tool is open and I need it to be on treat unfilled shape as an outline because I don't want it to just cut the shape in half. So using the straight knife in the outline option, I'm going to cut this center section of the butterfly out. So if I click here and drag straight down, you'll see a red line appear. And the number that you see popping up at the bottom, right now it says 5, 10, 15. That's actually the angle that your line is at, and it's not straight if you see a number there. So I'm actually going to swing it around until I get it to zero. And let go. And you can see there's a break in the butterfly there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Draw straight down until I get that zero there. And let go. And now I'm going to select my pointer tool and I'm going to delete that center area because I don't need those. This is where the butterfly is going to be attached to the paper and this is where it's going to pop out. So I'm going to zoom out now and on my butterfly, if I select it, it'll only select the left or the right because now I have two different shapes. But I want it to, I want the software to treat the butterfly as one piece still. So I'm going to draw a box around it, right click and then select group just to put it back together. And now I can, I'm ready to start replicating my butterfly across. On the top right hand side of the menus, you'll see one that says open, re, open the replicate window. We're going to click on that. And I'm actually going to do a column of four across. Now, it replicated all four, but the butterflies are actually touching and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the butterflies on the edges or on the ends so that they're approximately where I think I want them to be in the final um, cut. And then I'm going to draw a box around all those butterflies again. Now I've moved the two on the ends up so now they're not in a straight line anymore but I can fix that. I'm going to open the align window and I'm going to align middle and then I'm going to change the spacing horizontally so that they're even. So now the butterflies are evenly spaced and they're perfectly aligned. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to group those together because now I just need to repeat that going down. So if I click on the shape that kind of looks like a flower up there, it's the replicate window. I'm going to replicate a row of four or excuse me, a column of four. And that's the, that's the highest option that's here. So I'm just going to go up and I'm going to click to duplicate below just to get two more rows of butterflies. And same thing as I did before, the spacing is a little off at the bottom than it is at the top. So I'm going to move this down so that it looks like it's approximately in the right spot compared to that. And I'm going to draw a box around all these butterflies. Now, I don't want to select this, my 10 by 10 square, so I'm just going to move it out of the way for now and draw a box around all these butterflies. And I'm going to go back to that align window and I'm going to change my spacing vertically so everything is even. So you'll see the butterflies move just slightly. Now this looks pretty good so I'm going to right click and I'm actually going to group all of these rows together so that I can get them centered inside this box. Now you could just eyeball it and send it which is truthfully what I would probably do in most cases but if you want it to be perfectly centered you can get it perfectly centered. Now I'm going to draw a box around all of this so it selects all the butterflies and that red square. And then I can tell it to align center and align middle. And you'll see it move just a fraction of an inch. And now it's perfectly centered. So I'm going to send this to um, my Cameo and let it cut out. And I'll show you at the cutting mat what it looks like.
So here are my butterflies all cut out and I'm just going to remove it from the cutting mat, being careful not to rip the center where their bodies are still connected to the main sheet. And here they are all taken off the cutting mat. And I actually have quite the collection of watercolors. It's actually quite sad. Um, if you knew how many palettes I had or um, packages of watercolors I have. But anyways, if you want to see a review of these Prang watercolors, leave a comment down below. They're actually quite inexpensive and they don't look how you think they would look looking at them in the palette. The Prang metallic and the Prang glitter ones. But anyways... Uh, here you can see I'm just adding some color to the palette. The art teacher I work with actually told me that if you add the water directly to the palette and mix it together, you'll get a better color payoff than just, you know, lightly dipping your brush in. So I'm here painting each one of the butterflies a different color. I'm making this for one of the um, students I tutor, and she said she wanted every color in the palette, and her mother said that that was quite fitting. So here I'm just popping the butterflies up and I'm going to place it in a shadow box frame. And this frame is from Joann's and your eyes are not going to deceive you because in the next shot you're going to see the finished product and it's going to be a different set of butterflies. But that's because the person I made this for was impatient and she wanted it right when I got done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.